Greetings and welcome to Heart to Heart with Doc Martin, where I share with you my thoughts on various subjects and challenge you to think differently. So today, I'm going to challenge you in the end by telling you a story. And what I'm about to share with you, I, I talk about quite often in my lectures, and I'm not embellishing with what I'm about to say. It really happened. And it happened prior to the COVID pandemic. And uh, to this day, I don't really understand why it happened, but let me share with you what happened. So I was in the grocery store and uh, I was talking to the cashier named Rose, who I don't know about you, but I tend to gravitate to the same cashier every week. She happens to uh, have my grandmother's name. Anyway, wonderful woman named Rose. And so we're sitting there talking and all of a sudden I noticed that a woman comes up behind us to start putting her stuff on the belt. No big deal, happens all the time, right? And I noticed she happened to have a, a baby in the cart and a little toddler in tow didn't think anything of it. So I turn back, I'm talking to Rose as she's uh, uh, scanning our items. And all of a sudden, I'm going to swear, so please forgive me. All of a sudden, I hear out of the corner of my ear pretty loudly, shit. And I turn and I look and here's this woman holding a frozen entree and looking at it. And she kind of looks at me and she gives me the look of death. And she then puts it on top of the candy shelf, which is across from the cashier. Well, what conclusion would you come to? Well, I came to that she didn't want it, right? So I said to Rose very, very quietly because I, I wasn't thrilled with this woman's behavior. There's a lot of starving people in the world. I said to Rose very quietly, and I swear this woman, there's no way she heard this. I said, hey, would you like me to give you this item so you can put it away so it doesn't go bad? Rose kind of rolls her eyes and I know the woman was looking away at that point and says, yeah, thanks, really quietly. So I grab the item, I give it to Rose, and boy, oh boy, then it starts. Who do you think you are? This woman says to me. You're a bleeping asshole, quote unquote. I won't say that word on camera. Who do you think you are? Do you work here? I said, uh, wait, what? I said, I'm sorry. I said, I certainly didn't mean to offend you, ma'am. I said, but you clearly didn't want this perishable food item. So I gave it to Rose so that it could be put back in stock so it doesn't go bad. Do you work here? Why don't you mind your own bleeping business? Um, no. Once again, I shared with you that it was obviously a perishable item. It's frozen, she says. Well, I guess she didn't understand what the word perishable means. I'm not judging. It's obviously the case. This went on and on and on. Finally, I looked at her and I said, look, I'm, I'm going to say this one more time before I call the manager over. I said, all I was trying to do was return an item that you clearly didn't want back to the back to the freezer so that it didn't go bad because last time I checked, there's a lot of starving people in the world. Just a nasty, nasty interaction I had with this person. Now, I have no idea what was going on in her life. I have no idea why she reacted that way. Did Was she upset with me for butting in? Was she thinking that I was shaming her? Did she think that I thought she couldn't afford? I don't know. But what I do know is how she reacted. And so here's my challenge to you. How do you react to situations where you don't know the backstory? Oftentimes, when we're interacting with friends and family, we come to conclusions all the time, don't we? We sit here in that space when somebody doesn't text or call us back and we get all angry and we make up this story that they don't like me, they don't value me, I'm not good enough, et cetera, et cetera. And then you get all mad at them and either you, you don't respond at all and you send back a nasty response and then you might find out that hopefully not, they had some kind of accident or somebody was sick or something happened and then all of a sudden your mindset completely changes. So I'm telling you this story because it's A, it's kind of a wild story and B, I'm challenging you to think about the conclusions you make about the people in the world around you without all the information. I certainly don't believe that a reasonable person would have reacted and interacted with me in that way at the grocery store under normal circumstances, but whatever conclusions she came to were significant enough for her to cause or for it to cause her to lash out at me. So you may not lash out at people, I hope you don't, in the same way. But I know that you react. 
I know that you either do things or not do things because of conclusions you come to. So my challenge to you today, ladies and gentlemen, think about your thoughts, think about your conclusions, challenge those conclusions until proven otherwise so that you don't make the same mistake that this woman did by screaming at somebody that was simply trying to help. So listen, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click notifications so you don't miss out on any of our videos. And remember, life speaks to you. And if you think it doesn't, you know, listen, take care. Bye-bye.